Monday, January 22nd. Now, up above the 4th Street Dam, there were a couple of swimming holes in Ramapo River. The first one you got to was called Buttonball, uh, named after the sycamore trees that were right there. They used to call those trees Buttonball trees. And then further up the river, there was another swimming hole called 40 Foot. Now, in the wintertime, these would freeze up some. Uh, buttonball usually would freeze uh, uh, more safely. You could you could ice skate on buttonball. The ice got thicker there because it was a little closer to the dam, and I guess the water was a little bit more settled. Walt and I would go out onto the to the ice, and it was a, a clear ice. You could see right down to the bottom of the river. And as you were out on the ice moving along, you could see fish swimming below your feet. It was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. Now, further up, uh, where 40 foot was, that didn't freeze as often, you know, solid enough, because I think the, the current was a little more um, in movement there. And where 40 foot was, there was a big heap of uh, gray boulders on the west shore, the, the side that goes back into Hilburn some. And Walt and I would climb up on those rocks sometimes and just sit there and look across the throughway. That's where the throughway was. And on the other side of the throughway from where we were sitting was a great cut in the mountain. Uh, that's the mountain that they used to call McGregor Hill, uh, the one they built the um, hotel on the mountain on the top of. And, and we would look at that great cut there and you could see how the, the rock went and how, how it all moved about the layers of stone and so forth. And there was the throughway. And Walt would say to me, you know, uh, used to be that mountain came right on down and ended pretty much in the middle of the throughway. Did it connect to uh, the rocks we're sitting on? No, actually, no. This was a different heap of rock. And there used to be a little road called Lake Road that come up out of the village and it went right between the two heap of rock and went on up to the hamlet and the ironworks. Hmm. Why was it called Lake Road? Oh, well, this road, and there's still a piece of it down in Hilburn. There's a little piece of Lake Road, and up at the hamlet, there's another piece of it. And it went right on through. And this road was, um, well, it ended at uh, Ramapo Lake. Where was that? Oh, well, you know, the Ironworks Dam, they built the dam there for the works, and they made a, a big lake, Ramapo Lake. And they had some, some houses right up along there. Yep. Yep, and uh, when the throughway came through, they took out Lake Road, and they took out a whole lot of this rock that we're sitting on, and, uh, and of course, they took out uh, Ramapo Lake. And then he pointed to the southbound lane of the throughway, right over to there. And he said, you see that spot right there? Oh, where that car just went by, you see it? Yeah. Used to be a big Indian rock right there, and uh, old Doc Veith, you know, the suffering dentist, he come up with a couple of hundred uh, artifacts, uh, arrowheads and hammer stones and things like that, he, that he found, found right there. When they built the throughway, they took out that Indian rock too. And then he said, yep, yep. When they build the big roads, they take out a lot of history. Yep. Hmm. Well, we'll do another one tomorrow. See you then.